Hello and welcome, this is Armea from Telplay and welcome to another video of Animal Crossing New Horizon and this time I'm gonna give you some tips on how to design your island part 2. As you guys have noticed, I've made another video in which I give some tips on how to design your island so if you ever missed that one, make sure to check it out on our channel. So before anything else, let's get started. Sometimes when we are arranging our island, we are having some difficulties when it comes to flower arrangement. And we are thinking, where are we gonna put this flower? What sort of flower are we gonna put? What types of the breed of the flower that we're gonna put in this particular area? Or just simply, what sort of color we're gonna put? So the first tip that I'm gonna give you is to actually help you on how to arrange your your flowers accordingly. So when you look at it, it looks nice and it's much more pleasant in the eye when you look at it. So tip number one is to make sure to arrange your flower in a V-shape. Every time I'm arranging my island, I make sure that it has a form. I just don't put it blindly and put it like straight. It's just a bunch of flowers in horizontal or vertical way. I make sure that it has some, it, it has some forms. Or if I wanted to make like a flower garden and in a square form, I make sure that I put every different kinds of flowers. It doesn't matter if if the color is different or it has the same color, it doesn't matter. Uh, it makes, uh, by putting all the flowers in different shapes or different breeds, it makes this shape that it looks appealing in the eye. Rather than just one type of flower and you put it straight horizontally or vertically or just simply make a, f a square form with the same breed of flowers. And there is also another tip that I just found out that actually works. As you guys can see in my island, I use one of the Cosmo and Lily and I take out the flower bud of it. So if you are planning to put some diversity of one of your beach area and you want to use weeds but you don't really want to use the exact weeds and you want to replace it for something else, why not try to use Cosmo or Lily and let me know how it turns out on your island. Also another tip is to make sure that you plant flowers that are particular for higher grounds. So uh, keep in mind where you found the flowers and put them in their specific higher ground. There are some plants that would fit much more in the lower ground and then you have the ones that are found on the mountains. Another cool idea is to actually plant flowers of different uh, family but uh, similar colors in a particular area and then go with the same kind of style but different colors in a different area. That way you have a purple area and another uh, area which is yellow or pink or green or whatever the color that you want to to have that way when you have visitors on your island they get to see a diversity and also a uniqueness on your island so each area is unique in its own way it has its own colors and it, its own plants and also style that way it feels fresh and it's always nice to see something different one of the tips that I can give you to have a very nice scenery for your island is to actually make use of the path and also to make use of the custom path. There is a lot of tons of custom paths out there to bring uniqueness to your island. You can just simply get it over the internet. There is a lot of popular ones out there. But as for me, I love to make my own and I highly recommend for you to do that especially if you know how to draw and you really know you want something specific for this particular area and you want to use this unique custom path for your island in which I always do that in my island as you guys can see I did a bunch of I got some reference out there just to just to help me create that kind of custom path that I want which is using a reference is actually good I'm only recommending this because 
I've seen a ton of players out there who had a uh, kind of the same custom pad. It's not a bad thing, but what I mean is that if you want uniqueness in your own island, I would recommend if you make your own. And regarding about the custom pad, I'm planning to actually make my very own tutorial for on how to make a custom pad of your own. So stay tuned for that because I'm going to be uploading next week. When it comes to waterfalls, I want you to try to give a unique style to each individual waterfall. So m put curves and make uh, shapes in such a way that it looks different than the other one. That way you give a natural style to it and you don't go with very squarish and very exact shape. Try to follow how nature tends to create imperfection perfect and that way you create a beautiful scenery that blends in with everything else. Try to give them irregular shapes. Think about that they're not man-made and they come in natural forms. Normally if you look into nature you can identify that waterfalls and rivers carved through the mountains as well through the hills creating a very natural and imperfect but still perfect form. So when you want to go for that kind of design, give it that imperfect but still perfect kind of style. Make it blend with everything else that is in nature and that way you can definitely create a unique island. So that's it for today guys. I really hope that you guys appreciate the content that we're sharing and you you find this video quite useful for your island designing. I'm sure that the examples that Armea has given are really helpful and they're gonna make your island stand out from the crowd. Um, I cannot stress enough how much I appreciate the love and support that you have for our channel, even if we're so small. Uh, but we've we've got so far um, until now and we're really excited to come out with more content and as well um, I want to bring out more tutorials regarding island designs from my side so when I will release I am looking forward to share my tips with you guys on my island design so thank you very much for listening and for watching so that's it for today's video guys and thank you so much for sticking around with us and hopefully you guys get a ton of value and tips on how to design your island so stay tuned for the new videos that we will be uploading soon and don't forget to subscribe to us if you like our content and make sure to turn on our bell notification for more upcoming videos so see you guys and take care bye